from here to onlineordering.link, L-I-N-Q dot com to log in. Um, so that's as simple as having internet access anywhere and being able to bookmark that website. Parents will come here um, and create a new account based off of their email address, and then they'll be able to add any students to their account to order meals for. So as a parent, once I have gone through and created an account with an online ordering, and we have provided um, a parent facing document that can be sent out to everybody in the district that shows them um, and guides them through how to create the account, as well as how to come in and add their students. So the first time they log in, all they will see is this box, add a child. And when they click on that, they find the district, they'll enter the student number, and then the student last name, and that pulls that info from that student import that we've already entered, finds the student, and now they will have students in their account. They can remove a student by clicking that X, but they'll have access to the student name and number. Again, that student number um, in the embedded, excuse me, in the barcode, they'll see the balance that's reflective of the last time the SFTP automated import ran, which would be nightly. And then once meals have been ordered, they'll be able to see the days of the week that the meals have been ordered for breakfast and lunch for that student. So they won't have to go into the menu to see if they've ordered. They'll just be able to look here and see what's been ordered for every student that they've added to their account. So here's our first opportunity, add to balance. I follow this link and then this link will send them to myschoolbucks.com. And then it will have another opportunity at the end to follow that link as well. So um, we can come in here and we can order meals for this student. We see that some of these days are grayed out. We have either one, missed our ordering window, meaning the, some of these days are in the past. We've missed that cutoff time to order for that day, or I've already ordered food for that day. One reimbursable meal per day Per meal for that student. So they wouldn't be able to come in and order an apple cobbler reimbursable meal and a pancake on a stick reimbursable meal. And here's that yellow ticker so that it stays here every time they're looking at a menu so that it's very transparent when they need to order by. So if I am ordering, let's say, lunch. You can see here that on our menu, we have categorized and built in three different entree options. So if I... So sorry. Um, so if I come in here and I'm ordering the beef burrito, I can see um, this has just been categorized as a zero price or this is a free student, but a parent will be able to see the, the meal price based off of what we put in for the district. They'll be able to view the ingredients and the nutritional information here, as well as on the menu that was published to your school nutrition and fitness website. And then we can see here that on my menu, we've categorized a fruit, we've categorized vegetables and a milk. Um, and so when milk is categorized, it also provides that none option. And as we can see here, I cannot add to order until I make selections and I build a reimbursable meal based off of what was added to the menu in eyesight. Whoops. So I would grab my fruit and I feel like hummus today and white milk, please. And we can see now I can follow my button. And this day is now grayed out, so I can't try to order a second entree for that day. So here is where all of our online shopping skills are gonna pay off because it's sitting here in our cart. I can continue ordering meals for every day that's been published that I can see here through the menu. I can order breakfast and lunch. I can order breakfast and lunch for the entire week 
but I'm just gonna keep it simple and stick with my beef burrito. I can see here, I'll be able to see a price. I can continue ordering and add more food or I can check out. So then I have to select a pickup location. I'm gonna pick parking lot A and then I place my order. And so here I'll get a confirmation screen letting me know what was ordered for what child. Again, here's their balance. And then it'll give us a total price that is reflective of what will be deducted for, from their balance um, once those meals have been rung up in the point of sale system. And I just got the email confirmation that um, summarizes what the order is. And so they'll get that email confirmation based off of the email they attach to their account. And so here is my second opportunity that I can keep my balance full. If I feel like this is gonna look low after this has been deducted, then I can come here and continue to follow the link that's been set up for the district to go to myschoolbucks.com and then add more money to the account. So when I pop on back over here, I can now see that Sweet Melba has a lunch ordered for Thursday. And then I would be able to jump on over here to Annabelle and order meals for her as well. 